Hey guys, it's Hope. Today I am here to do a three book book review. So I guess a trilogy book review over The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. This is going to be a non-spoiler book review. So don't worry if you haven't read these books. I will try to not spoil you. Actually, I promise I will not spoil you so you can enjoy these books like I did. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So for those of you who aren't familiar with what the trilogy is all about, it is about two families, the Conklin family, Family and the Fisher family, they get together every summer to hang out at the Fisher's Beach House on Cousins Beach. Now in the Conklin family, we have Isabel Conklin, also known as Belly, which by the way, I hate that nickname. <laughs> We'll get to that later. Um, and then we have Steven, the brother, who is older than Belly, and the mother, um, I am totally drawing like Laurel. Her name's Laurel. And then with the Fisher family, we have the mother, Susanna, and the two dreamy brothers, Conrad and Jeremiah. So these two families haven't known each other for forever because the mothers, Laurel and Susanna, have been best friends for eternity. So they always go to the summer beach house on Cousins Beach to just relax and have fun and it's just a tradition. And so yeah, the story um, really picks up with, or I should say it's about the two families coming to Cousins Beach every summer and the adventures that they have there. And throughout the first book, Belly reflects back on all of her memories that she's had over the years with the Fisher Boys and Susanna and how her life has been impacted by them, good and bad. All right, so since we reviewed what the trilogy um, is kind of over and how it starts, let's talk about the characters. So our first character I wanna talk about will be Isabel, also known as Belly. Um, she is the youngest out of all of the children um, living in the house at Cousins Beach and she gets picked on quite a bit because not only is she the youngest but she's also the only girl so she has to put up with all the shenanigans of Conrad and Jeremiah and her brother Stephen. She feels left out a lot but has always been captivated by the Fisher boys. So she has, from day one, always had this thing for Conrad. And in the first book, we find out that there is a major love triangle. And that is not spoiling anything because on the back of the book, it says, Belly has always lived for summertime because it means all of her favorite things, swimming, the beach, and the Fisher Boys. And then it goes on to say that Conrad and Jeremiah have spent every summer with her since Cousins Beach, but one day they realize how pretty she is because she gets out of the car and boom, she's beautiful. Anyways, um, it says at the bottom, as the summers go on, Belly must choose between two brothers and face the inevitable. So we know there's gonna be a love triangle just by reading this little blurb at the back. Um, so yeah, usually in books, I absolutely hate love triangles, but this worked. And I think it's maybe because they're brothers. So anyway, she has always loved Conrad and Ben completely captivated by him but then she starts to kind of take notice of Jeremiah so yeah let's just jump into the Fisher Boys. So for the Fisher Boys we have Jeremiah. He is a little younger than Conrad. He is athletic, he's smart, and he's the sensitive one. He is the funny one as well. He's always cracking jokes and putting smile on people's faces. Then we have Conrad. Conrad is the oldest out of everyone that's staying at the house House, or I should say sibling wise and kid wise um, but Conrad he is the one that is a little bit mysterious he has the dreamy looks, he is super athletic, and he's really good at pretty much anything he does. He does have that, you know, kind of dark side to him, which really intrigues Belly. And then we'll go on to Steven. Steven is Belly's older brother, and he is the typical older brother, I feel like. He can be protective, but mostly he's a bully. He is annoyed by Belly most of the time because she's just the younger sister, so he got a little annoying because he picked on her all the time but it was a realistic 
brother-sister relationship. I don't have a brother, so I guess I really can't relate. But I feel like if I did have an older brother, it would kind of be like Steven. Okay, so I'm going to quickly break down the three books in this awesome bind up, which how cool is this? I went to my used bookstore right around the corner from my apartment and I found this. I had store credit and it was only six dollars. So yay! I still have like nine dollars left in store credit so I can't wait to go back and see what else they have there. But yeah, I love the bind. I love the bind up and it says down here it's a 3-1 Walmart exclusive and I saw them at Walmart the other day. So if you guys would like to get this, go to Walmart. I think it's like ten dollars and like 97 cents at Walmart so not too bad for three books actually not bad at all anyway so a little overview um, the first book is the summer I turned pretty and I really did enjoy this book I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads the only thing I would complain about this book is I thought the main character was kind of annoying belly was just super super immature I guess I get it she's 16 I remember what it's like being 16. I was probably really immature and annoying too. The second book is It's Not Summer Without You. And the first book leaves off or left off on a cliffhanger. So the first book kind of picked back up with that. Um, the first book started and I read the first chapter and I was like, yes, I'm so happy. And then I realized everything kind of came crashing down. So the second book, I think maybe the shortest one, gave this one a four out of five stars because there was a lot of up and down, still love triangle thing going on. But then we get to We'll Always Have Summer, which five out of five stars, absolutely amazing. I rarely give the last book in a trilogy five stars, but this one was well-deserved. I cried, I laughed, um, I was gasping, I couldn't believe what was going on. Like seriously guys, throughout the whole trilogy, I didn't know if I was Team Conrad or Team Jeremiah. I didn't know what Fisher Boy to root on, but in this book, when one of them says goodbye to her, like for forever, like I'm letting you go, you can have my brother, I cried. I That was the point I knew that I was Team whoever. Can't tell you, can't tell you who it is because I want to spoil you. Okay, so speaking of the line that made me be team blank Fisher Boy, I'm going to read it to you. And it's not going to be a spoiler, but it's absolutely beautiful and tears are streaming down my face. So I have it on my phone because I can't remember what page it's on in the book. It says, I need you to know that no matter what happens, it was worth it to me. Being with you, loving you, it was all worth it. Literally, tears were streaming down my face. I finished this last night. I was in bed. I was hugging a stuffed animal, and I was bawling because this is when I knew who I wanted her to be with, and he was saying goodbye, and oh my gosh. But don't let that discourage you from not picking up these books because <sighs> the ending totally did not see it coming, loved, 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 we'll always have summer. Thank you, Jenny Han, for this beautiful gift, this beautiful trilogy. My only complaints about this trilogy is for the first two books, the main character was super annoying because she was really immature. But like I said earlier, I understand. She's 16. She's going to be immature. Um, the second complaint that I have is Belly's or Isabel's nickname. Thank you, Jenny Han, for changing that in the third and final book. People called her Bells a lot or her real name Isabel. But seriously, there were so many other names you could have given her. And I know at the beginning of the books, like, they explained why she was called Belly, but I just, I hated that stupid nickname. Um, yeah, and the last complaint that I had, which really isn't that bad, but we'll always have summer for the third title. I didn't really get it when I read the book. I, yeah, I don't know what else I would have called it, though, so... I know, stupid complaints, but I have more pros than cons. I love the characters. I loved the love triangle. When does that ever happen? And I freaking loved the ending and everything that happened in the last book. Five stars, guys. Pick this up if you haven't read it. It is so good. It's a great summer read. 
And yeah, if I had to rate the whole trilogy, I would probably give it a 4.5 stars out of 5 stars. Legend is my all-time favorite trilogy, and this came a close second. So the Legend trilogy, 5 stars out of 5 stars, but this trilogy, 4.5 out of five. It's amazing. Guys, pick it up. Let me know below if you have read it and what you guys thought and who did you want Belly to end up with. Yeah. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.